which is the richest land on earth? I am sure many of you are thinking about the answers. So, somebody from the audience said uh, the oil field in Saudi Arabia, the gold mine in Africa. He said, no, you are wrong. The richest land on earth is the graveyard. That is where many ideas that have never been shared, lay buried. Many experiences that have never been shared, lay buried. So much knowledge that have never been shared, lay buried. Try and list down some self-deprecating humor that you can think of because you are the old sole owner of that humor. <coughs> nobody can challenge that and nobody can question that. Most importantly, nobody will get offended by that except your mom. <laughs> Most of the times, humor comes from pain. All of us think that humor comes from some lovely, lively experience we have had. Not really. 90% of the time, humor comes from pain and usually it is a post-mortem of an activity that has happened. And usually if you start with humor, it works. As a speaker, you are here to connect with the audience, not to lecture them. How do you connect? you all try and come on a same platform. And if you are being invited to speak on a subject that you are not good at, decline. Decline. But if there is a connect, wow, I love this subject, the audience loves this subject, fantastic. Never ever give advices, give suggestions because it's left to them for them to take it or not. How would you distinguish between the two? Between advice and suggestion? Put a title. Here is my suggestion. <laughs> because if you think too much about it, you are going to be finished. So just put a title, here is my suggestion, rather than saying, let me advise you. <laughs> That's it. <Pa. laughs> Loving yourself is so deep, so deep. We all worry about our imperfections and that is why we are not able to perform to our potential. We must love ourselves because the very fact that we are alive is a gift. Then you must love yourself because somebody has crafted you. Someone has crafted you. So you got to love yourself. Otherwise, you are not going to perform to your fullest potential. Those little, little things that is nagging you, just cheat. And then go ahead and perform. You will be amazed at the way you perform because your potential is being put to use. And that is why I keep telling myself, go ahead, go ahead. Mistakes happen. Everybody is imperfect. I can fail. And I have failed many times as a speaker. Many times. Because I try something new. And the only way to try something new is in front of the audience and go and fail. And people can write you off. While they have called me thinking that I speak well, there are people who have not called me thinking that I do not speak well. It happens to us, but that is not where the world ends. So go ahead, try and do not be without trying. English movies, Devi Theatre, late in the night, night show, we used to watch English movies every Saturday night. We did not understand a word of what was happening on the screen, but we enjoyed it. That is what happens to many speakers. They use some complicated words and people say, wow, wonderful speech, I did not understand anything. <laughs> It is very important to be very simple in your language when you are speaking to people because they do not have Google to refer to. If you want to write, write whatever you want. I was just narrating stories. The only reason why I was narrating stories to tell you is to be a good public speaker, you need to have stories. And where do these stories come from? Around you. Around you. And how do these stories come out of your head? By storing it somewhere. Do not ignore kuti kuti things that happen in your life. Do not ignore. They can be wonderful stories that can impact people. There will be amazing messages that come out of these kuti kuti stories. And they will be authentic because it is your story. And also nobody can validate that. You can claim it is yours. <laughs> well, let me give you another suggestion. Do not exaggerate. Accept humor. Please do not exaggerate anything else people will understand that you are exaggerating, they will get disconnected, disconnected and the moment the audience get disconnected, that is it, end of story. 
In public speaking, the first thing that will attract attention is your body language, your gestures and your hand movements and all of those things. They will have to be in sync with what you are talking because people notice that you as a speaker will never even realize that. Will never realize that. There is lot of value that can be added through your body language. Public speaking is nothing but the real you speaking. The problem is the real you is lost. We all know to shake our hands, right? The, the only thing is it has to coordinate with what you are saying. Please get up from your chair and go and speak. That is how you learn to speak. So voice modulation, gestures, hand play a big role. Now next comes the stage usage. Have that pause. Pause really works. And that shows the audience that you are not nervous. But if that pause is really long, <laughs> tells the audience that you forgot. <laughs> In public speaking, there is something called a pregnant pause. When you tell something that people will have to process, at that time you will have to leave a pause called pregnant pause. But don't extend it beyond a point that people will wonder what you are doing. When you are writing a script to speak, don't buy heart. Consume it. There is a big difference between buy hearting and consuming it. You are supposed to take a printout put it up there in front of your wall, just stand in front of it and say, Aja, <laughs> come inside me, come inside me, come inside me, it will come, it will come. But each time you try that out, it will come in different styles, different forms. The story will be intact, the message will be intact, everything will be intact, but you will be doing it in different forms. She said it is a really big world. She might not use the word really next time but she will have the same impact and that is what consuming speech is all about. You write a script, consume it, do not buy heart because when you buy heart, it will look artificial and if you forget one word, you will not go beyond that. Energy is contagious, energy is important, you got to be excited that you are speaking. I can give complicated humor about things that happened uh, outside, like about the, how the engine in my car was giving some noise and I figured out it was the cylinder that was making noise. You are wondering what cylinder are you talking about? It can be funny, but I have to be very choosy observation about it. Observation is very important and how do you say it? Keep it short, sweet, do not extend the humor. When I first said I am, am I visible, I just stopped there and got you. So I kind of felt comfortable, you felt comfortable because it was a self-deprecating humor. Uh, something that I forgot to mention very important is the R count. I started off and I, uh, I lost that. The filler words and R count, very important. Imagine I come here and start my speech like this. Uh, 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 Vimal, uh, uh, that day, uh, uh, invited me uh, and uh, I was uh, uh, I was nervous I was nervous uh, you all will vanish <laughs> easily vanish the R's and M's we all have it in us and there was no lesson on how to control R's and M's I figured out a way to control that. You become an R counter for the rest of your life. Anybody who is speaking in front of you, start counting the R's and M's. Find mistakes. One way to condition your brain to do something is find mistakes because your brain will tell you don't commit that mistake. 